All right, so this morning, members of the Congressional Black Caucus are going to gather to rehang a controversial painting. Republican Congressman Duncan Hunter removed the artwork on your screen from its spot in the Capitol. Some lawmakers criticized this painting because it depicts police as animals. One of them seems to have a pig's head. The painting belongs to Congressman William Lacey Clay's district, who's planning to take legal action against Congressman Hunter for taking down the painting. Let's discuss with CNN political commentator and host of The Ben Ferguson Show, Ben Ferguson. Ben, I don't think we should take too much time discussing the legality of this for it to be a theft, uh, which is what sure. uh, Lacey Clay wants to do with it. That would mean that uh, the other congressman took it and kept it away. He supposedly delivered it to the congressman's office. It doesn't really set up as a theft. The real question is whether Correct. or not it should be on the wall. What's your take? Well, if this congressman wants his painting to be up in his own office, that's fine. That's his right to do that. If he wants to sit there and depict police officers as pigs, uh, and he thinks that's what his constituency wants him to believe or to stand for, he should do that in his own office. But when you put this out there uh, inside the Capitol building where the Capitol Police and others are walking around, uh, the, the government should not sanction an artwork uh, in Washington that depicts police officers as pigs. Let's remember, police officers get shot and killed. We have many of them that are African-American that are shot and killed in the line of duty. This has no place mm -hmm. in the halls of Washington. It's an embarrassment. Yeah, Ben, I, mean, I just want to give you a little bit more context to see if you still feel this sure. way. This was the winner of the National Congressional Art Competition. They hold this every year for decades. Who, they, they vote around the country. This was a high schooler who depicted this from Missouri. And whoever wins, it's from every state, then that painting is put up in the halls of Congress. This is how it's worked for decades. So I get that you don't like the painting, but it sounds like you're being a little politically correct to say that any painting that you don't like or that depicts a controversial image shouldn't be hung. That's not the tradition or the spirit of this. Well, I also think if you look back at past winners, I highly doubt you've ever had a policeman depicted as a pig before in any one of these. Right. So and you want to censor were, the artwork and, if you don't like again, the subject matter. I don't. I don't have a problem with this hanging in the congressman's office. That is his decision. That is his right with his art that he is in favor of. That's not the I rules of this problem. competition. The rules of well, this competition is I, that the, I win, the, the national rules, but winner I also hangs think in the halls of Congress publicly. Then, then I think you should relook at the rules and, and decide that you don't allow offensive artwork. Imagine if someone would have won this contest and it would have been a negative image of the president of the United States of America, whether it be Barack Obama or Donald Trump. Should that be hanging in the halls of Congress? This is also an attack on law enforcement, and this goes back to the, the Congressional Black Caucus. What are they doing in Washington? What are they standing for? Yeah. They're literally taking time today out of it, when they're supposed to be doing the work of the people, taxpayers pay their salaries to put up a piece of artwork that attacks the police and depicts them as pigs. That is not a message that we want to be sending to young people. That is not a message yeah. we that's want to be sending That's your to problem, kids. though, Ben. That's the problem here. First of all, uh, Joe Casper, the chief of staff of Representative Hunter, says if it is re hung on the wall there, that uh, he would not take it down again. Uh, so we have to factor that in, and you're dealing with a very tricky problem here. One, you have an aspect of art, although nobody's questioning the right of this young man uh, to paint it or for it to be displayed, but you're getting into ben this is. tricky situation. No, no, no. The no, right to be displayed. You don't think it should be displayed where it is? The no, right no, no, to be wait, displayed wait, 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 be is not let's being be questioned. Where they're displaying it is what he's talking right. about, but that is exactly. a tricky consideration because how do you avoid this problem, this slippery slope, of how we only show what we feel. And you say, well, not in the halls of Congress, not where the taxpayers pay for it. Others would argue that's exactly where it should be, even though it is offensive and will bother people because that's how you and give Chris, voice to here, ideas in a democracy. Here, here's my point. I think we shouldn't have artwork that is hanging in the halls of Congress that depicts police officers or the military in a negative light when they protect and serve and put their lives on the line. And when you dial 911, they come and help you and they save you. I think this congressman knows that. I think this is grandstanding by the Congressional Black Caucus to somehow be relevant today and to start some sort of race type conversation. This is wrong and it should not hang there, period. Ben, thank you very much for your perspective Thanks. on this.
Look, it's a tough one because it's not easy to like. Nobody likes to see police being depicted that way, or at least they shouldn't. But what's the right thing to do? Tweet us at New Day or post your comment on Facebook.com slash New Day. How about some good stuff? Next. Next.